Yeah. No, I think it's a good question. I, I must say that, that that's coming from somebody who's really applying their mind. Uh, so, you know, if you look at CBDC, right, uh, the first generation CBDC thinking was like, you know, uh, if RBI or central bank is going to give direct wallets to individuals on their phones, uh, so all you have to go is go, I mean, that, that the world of that, we call the direct CBDC one-tier architecture. Uh, the idea was that, you know, we just go to the RBI website, we download a wallet, that is an RBI approved secure wallet. It's a digital currency wallet. And then from that point on, whatever comes into that wallet is a digital currency backed by RBI. So when I'm transferring money from me to you or me to a merchant, all that is happening is it's moving inside the RBI, right? So in other words, account-based uh, CBDC, single tier. So we need a central bank. We need people with digital currency wallets on their phones and all is good. Unfortunately, it turns out that central banks are terrible at handling retail customers. Right, uh, and they are only good at handling, you know, intermediaries like banks, and that's how the whole banking system is a two-tier system. You know, uh, RBI is the bank for banks, and banks are the banks for common people and companies. So, therefore, we have historically the economic architecture of banking architecture assumes that the function of customer service relegated to the banks, commercial banks, and commercial banks will lean upon the central bank to get its own, uh, you know, services. So, so that two-tier architecture, I think, is the foundational, you know, I would say structure of uh, the economy so i think i think wisdom has prevailed to say that boss you can't completely turn this upside down and rbi is going to be terrible i think can you imagine calling rbi and saying you know what I'm, my money payment has gone wrong can you help me trace my money no one's going to answer your call for one year right so that's not going to happen customer service is not their priority so long story short you're back to the same now we're talking about okay therefore it should be like a two-tier architecture it should be like you know but, uh, there'll be wholesale cbdc that the uh, RBI will give to the bank like it does today, wholesale. Banks will come around giving me give me a retail CBDC and give me a wallet. So I'll get still get a Bank of Baroda wallet or a SBI wallet, but we're a digital currency wallet. And for all practical purposes, from that point on, the money is digital and it's you know like a fiat money. So I think a 2D architecture is on the cards. Uh, 